Hello, and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to turn any image, such as this photo of the Nubble Lighthouse located in Yoke Beach, Maine, into a textured puzzle photo like this. Open the image that you would like to texturize in Photoshop. Duplicate the background layer. Name the duplicated layer, Puzzle. This is the layer that I'm going to texturize as a puzzle. Insert a new layer below the puzzle layer, pressing command in the new layer icon will add a layer below the selected layer. I'll rename this layer color. This layer is going to be the solid color that's going to be displayed below the puzzle where there are missing pieces. We'll fill this as a solid black layer. You can choose any color that you'd like. Edit, fill. In this case, I'll do the foreground color because I have it selected now as black and I'll hit okay. Select the puzzle layer and we're now going to texturize it. Go to filter, filter gallery, select texturize in the texture menu and then select the puzzle texture. If you do not have a puzzle texture available, one may be downloaded from Adobe as part of the Photoshop CS5 optional plugin pack. I have provided a link to this archive in the description below. Once you have downloaded the archive and extracted its contents, within the textures folder of the presets subfolder, you'll find the puzzle texture. Once the texture file has been downloaded, you can load it by clicking the load texture icon adjacent to the textures, Browse to the location where you have downloaded the texture file. Select on the texture file that you would like to load. In this case, we're going to load the puzzle texture and select load. That texture is now available to you. Once you have the puzzle texture loaded, you can change the size of the puzzle pieces by adjusting the scaling. You can also change the thickness of the texture lines by adjusting the relief. The lighting of the relief lines can also be selected. Once you have the selected values, click OK. We're now ready to cut out our puzzle pieces. I prefer to use the pen tool to cut out the puzzle pieces. You can zoom in and at this point you can trace through the lines of the puzzle. With the puzzle piece selected, hit Command Enter to turn it into a selection. At this point, you can do Layer, New Layer, via Cut, and it will pull that puzzle layer out. I'll rename this layer Piece 1. Take this Move tool. We can select our puzzle piece and move it off of the puzzle. You can add a drop shadow layer style to the puzzle piece to give it a depth effect. You can adjust the opacity, the distance, and the spread, and the size of the drop shadow that you'd like applied to the uh, puzzle piece. You can move the piece to what you want, and then you can also use the free transform tool, which is Command T, or Edit, Free Transform, and you can now rotate the puzzle piece to the desired angle and move it on your puzzle where you'd like. If you find it difficult to trace the puzzle lines on your photograph, I have found that it sometimes is a bit easier to add a new solid color layer and then texturize that layer with the same puzzle effect. Trace the puzzle piece on this new solid color layer. With the puzzle piece selected, select the puzzle layer. You can hide that top layer 
And now you have a new puzzle piece selected. We'll name it piece two. Which you can move and place on your puzzle. You can take some time to fine fine tune the shape of the puzzle pieces. Uh, I went through this rather quickly for this video for the sake of time, but if you take a little bit of time, you can actually perfect the pieces of the puzzle. If you'd like to remove a puzzle piece from the puzzle, once the puzzle piece has been selected, you can click the delete button. Take some time to go through, have fun, experiment, move the puzzle pieces around, stack them in different ways, and make your image look like the puzzle creation that you'd like. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please click the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click the notify bell to be notified of any future videos. Thank you for watching.